Dear friends, today I am doing a very different kind of program. I usually introduce few books uh, in my, I call it from my bookshelf series. Today I am going to do it, but I will do it uh, in three in a batch. Because what I ex am experiencing is that after I continue to do it, sometimes the machine stops. I have no idea. Sometimes this uh, quick time player stops. So basically I have done a good amount of stuff and it stops and then you have to redo it again. So I want to talk about a lot of books. I have bought it out from my bookshelf. If you want to see, I can just show you. Here are the books. And I want to talk about them to you. And so I do it in some small batches of three books each, three or four books each. So you will find a series of uh, things getting from my side to you today. The first book I recommend for those who are going for a course on mathematics, they are doing their say a BS program from some university maybe IITs or they are doing a bachelor's in honors uh, degree, bachelor's with honors degree in mathematics, say from Calcutta University or Bombay University. So this book tells you how to really think about analysis. Analysis is a very rigorous way of doing calculus and where sequences plays a role, that is sequences are a method of using the discrete to understand the continuous because uh, calculus is about continuous change. Now th this book is a very pictorial way of explaining you the things and this book tells you how to prove things. See what is very important about this book is they have given proofs of certain, certain things, even very simple things they have proved it and showed you how to understand the proofs, how to think about the proofs, how to even start thinking about a proof in analysis. So it's by Lara Alcock and it has, uh, it tells you what analysis is, it talks about the, what is the meaning of proofs in analysis, how to learn analysis and the key concepts like sequence series, continuity, differentiability, integrability and real numbers at the end, hoping that real numbers are known to you, you understand them. Here comes my second book and this book is written by my friend, a, friend, a very old friend whom I know from 1988, the first day I entered St. Xavier's College, Calcutta as a student of mathematics honors and we got our degree together in 1991. He was the only person to get a first class from our batch, 1990s mathematics honors, 19 the part one was, was one of the most hardest uh, uh, questions ever given and uh, if I remember out of 1200 students only maybe a few maybe 60 or 70 could actually maintain their honors degree. I was so lucky to maintain that honors degree even though it was a second class degree I got the honors degree. Uh, so I was basically possibly praying every day those, those times ke, somehow can I be taken out of Calcutta University from my masters which I succeeded finally to go out of Calcutta University from my masters but he did his PhD and um, masters from Calcutta University applied maths department or which is called the Raja is a part of the Raja Vaja Science College which has a long history actually. Um, this book Mathematical Modeling Models Analysis and Applications the second edition by CRC Press it's quite popular, it has huge amount of uh, application, ap uh, applied problems and how to model applied problems, especially those which can be modeled by systems of differential equations. And a lot of things have been given from uh, biology, uh, especially from population dynamics because he is a, a mathematical biologist in his uh, research career. So uh, he uh, used both partial differential equations, both ordinary differential equations and also probability. So these are the main tools. So any biologist would also find this book extremely useful. And I'm very upset that these books costs are lost, the CRC Press books. It is, it is published uh, in 
2022 and he gave me this book as a gift and i told him that one day i'll make a detailed uh, review on my channel but today just to have a introduction to this book and later on have a more detailed review the big part of this book is there's a lot of worked out example the matlab codes that he had used to actually solve many problems have be, are also given in this book which is a very very fine thing to do because then you can check it that whether his codes are correct or, or whether and then you can tweak it from your for your own problems and and actually uh, get results so it's fantastic book theorems are there the proofs are there the examples are there and the programs are there so what more do you want if you just want to look at uh, so you have a whole chapter on what what is mathematical modeling discrete model using difference equations continuous model using ordinary differential equations special models using partial differential equations model with delay differential equations and modeling with stochastic differential equations so essentially modeling with differential equations is what the book is about it talks about chaos it talks about predator prey models and chemical reactions and many many other things which are actually helpful to mankind and so i really recommend this book very strongly for all libraries of good universities and those universities who can actually purchase i and crc press please do a indian edition so that this book is in the table of all math students all applied math students at least because it's worth keeping it with you and who says you don't need visualization in mathematics the burbakist Burbaki group. The Bur Nicholas Burbaki is a mathematician, a famous one who didn't exist. It was actually a name given to a group of mathematical savants or mathematicians in of France, Paris actually, who were trying to kind of uh, you know tell that mathematics has to be without pictures, without geometry, and mathematics has to be done only through you know. analytical tools or algebraic tools no geometry no visualization but that's something so against our own natural instinct because as human beings we evolved to be visual animals our world our main sense among the five aristotelian senses that we talk about the main sense is the sense of vision that we can see things we can observe things we are a visual animal so without visualization things are not fun when we don't really get to understand them in in a deeper manner so this is a book which is extremely highly recommended if you want to deeply understand complex analysis it's called visual complex analysis published by oxford university press this is the south asian edition by tristan needham tristan needham is a student of the great roger penrose who is a nobel laureate or sir roger penrose and there's a lot of um, applications you will see in about on newtonian mechanics from here this book is filled with pictures every page you open there's a picture so what you learn in the analysis you can visualize through pictures there is hardly a page which i can open which does not have pictures randomly you open a page with high probability that there will be a picture and that is so important because without these pictures and some pictures are very lovely i'm sure the original books had these were colored pictures and this is not a colored picture here so he has written another recent very good book on differential geometry and which i'll also talk about this is a very beautiful book and if you really want to learn complex analysis in a deep way and understand the uh, mathematics behind it as well as the get a geometrical idea and visualization this is the book to go and i strongly 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 recommend it and it has everything when you what what whatever you want to know it talks about complex analysis complex complex numbers complex functions uh, but everything has a geometrical interpretation uh, integration and you will also learn a lot of things about for example non euclidean geometry and you will learn about complex integration you learn about analytic continuation and also some applications to physics and that's what makes it fascinating 
so i told you i will be talking about three books per session so that this camera helps me, this thing doesn't stop actually so i will again be back in the next session with three more books so just hang on